me bad at all. <laughs> Old Uncle Donkey. Uncle <laughs> Donkey. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to youtube.com slash geeklad for another Let's Play. Today it's Horizon uh, Forbidden West, Zero Dawn. I keep wanting to say Zero Dawn, but it's not. It's Horizon Forbidden West, number two. Uh, we're on a side quest. Oh, I should show we're still just in the opening bit here, just the opening bit of the level. We still have the entire massive map to unlock. It just keeps going. Uh, the world is massive and we're nowhere near unlocking it yet. We're still working our way through the intro section. And for a moment, I thought that looked very Bloodborne. Uh, are we going to shoot that down? Yeah, we are. Uh, I thought that looked like one of the fog doors. Bloodborne? You know what I'm saying. Demon Souls, Dark Souls, one of those. Soulsborns? Soulsborns, surely. I like the yellow. I like it when we uh, ping the, what is it, detective mode, whatever, the uh, R3. When we crack that, uh, it does like those little yellow highlights, like the uh, ones you're used to jumping onto uh, in the games, but it doesn't do it. Uh, like, what's a good example? The um, Far Cry New Dawn? Far Cry New Dawn, I believe it was, had like excessive amounts of big yellow bits hanging off the edges of the things you could right. jump on. The trail's in bad shape. The trail is in bad shape. Are we supposed to a hook shot or is there like a double jump? Can we do... Oh, there it is, the old hook shot. Now, do I jump back over? Oh, look at that. The climbing works very well. It's... Uh... As I was saying on Gaming Enforcement Agencies, Monday night, that's I should let everyone know, Monday nights, Gaming Enforcement Agency, Unky Dunky and myself going over all the news of the week. And that includes when we're playing new games, just like this one. You can be sure the upcoming Monday, uh, what is it? Jump against the surface and then circle. Why is she jumping? Oh, do I have to jump off this wall? Jump, circle. That makes more sense, Troy. Well deduced. <laughs> Up we go. And the other cool thing that they've solved here in uh, Horizon Excuse 2 is uh, in number one, I was... I remember just constantly being bothered by the uh, need to pick up, you know, the wood, the resources, etc., to make your arrows and weapons and whatnots. Uh, and, but in this one, it hasn't bothered me once at all. I, I'm not sure. I can't say for certain that sending it automatically to the uh, stash back at camp was the default behaviour. I don't think it was in number one, but it is in number two, and it works an absolute treat. We've got a handhold there and one there. Can I run and jump over? That looks like I should be able to do some sort of... Oh, some of that one. Up we go. Oh, go Aloy, go. Up. There we are. Man, check out that view. The mountain climbing's good and hunky dunky to his point. Look at this. All the butterflies flying around the place. We've got leaves. Oh, yeah. True and correct accounts of video games with hunky dunky. Monday nights, 8 o'clock, Game Enforcement Agency. Right here. So, Geek alone is now. I think that's the ruin. I think we're very close to our target. I think old mate that we're looking for is meditating over in that tower. It appears as though we're at the right height now. We just need to work our way over. Oh, the valley of the what are they? Stalkers or something? Basilisks? I don't know their name. I could probably slip past Scroungers? them. Or take them out. Sneak past or take them out. Jinx19, hey, what's up with you? Not much with me. Are you uh, playing some Horizon yourself? Are you an Aloy fan? Or, like me, are you possibly just biding your time until Friday for some Elden Ring action? I know that's what I'm keen for. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, obviously. I'm enjoying my time here with Horizon. Uh, oh, look at this. For an ancient world, there sure are a lot of uh, loot boxes that haven't been looted before I get here. 
It's almost as though I'm the first person in this world who considered that looting things. They sort of need to acknowledge it in law that other people, for a reason, haven't looted all these boxes. Oh, I think it's game time. I think I possibly just picked the fight. Oh, I should know. These are all... Uh, I've set all the difficulties and everything to normal. Everything's just a straight-up normal game. Uh, I think there's two or three tiers above normal from a difficulty standpoint, but honestly, I die plenty just on normal, so I've no desire to kick it up. Truth be told, if anything, I've tempted to kick it down sometimes. I'm gonna go for the, uh, the oblique spots on the back here. Ooh. Now, and I'm just not sure whether these guys are more susceptible to... Oh, that's not the one I wanted. Uh, I wanted this one. The acid. Oh, gosh. Heal up, Troy. Heal up. Get out of there. Heal up. Run, Aloy. Run. What I'm trying to do is get a little acid shot. Get some damage over time action happening on these guys. Oh! And I could be wrong, but I swear, it sounds like she's saying, Fuck! <laughs> it sounds like she's forever saying the first syllable of an offensive word. <laughs> Just stop mid-fight and go uh, berry picking under, under the water. They follow me in? Oh yeah, he's on. Oh, I hadn't even... Uh, this is the first time I've encountered this one. No damage at all whatsoever. Booge, sit down, sunshine. You're cooked. Now what do we have? Two or three left? Three more, look at that. Oh, that had to be close, didn't it? Woo oh, the old lay down critical strike. Dodge, parry. See, now these striders don't understand that I've been playing a fair bit of uh, Demon Souls in preparation for Elden Ring on Friday. And uh, unfortunately for them, they're on the receiving end of me at sort of my height of my attack, about. dodge, parry, fall back, attack, jump back in, have another crack type thing. Uh, you're getting a raw deal is my point. Now, can I do something? Can I, or is that unlocked now and we're just good to go? No, I need to have three skill points. There we go. Uh, Jinx Night in YouTube chat. Now I wish I had it. Heard it's really good. Yes. Uh, Steve, who is my co-host on the Gaming Enforcement Agency, Jinx19. Steve and I uh, host Gaming Enforcement Agency Monday nights. So Steve's over 21 hours into the game, and he has way more in-depth thoughts. Uh, if you want to hear someone who's, you know, pretty much a day into the game, how much he loves it and what's really lighting him up about it, man, he had some fantastic insights right off the head. It was the first thing we discussed on Gaming Enforcement Agency this week. Obviously, right, not right this minute. We're a bit busy, but maybe after the live stream, Jinx. Maybe after the live stream, you want to check it out and hear Steve's thoughts. He certainly, uh, certainly sings its high praises a day in. Uh, now, we've taken care of all those, so I think uh, we should be good now to go and see old mate meditating, in theory, in this tower. Get him to... Uh, round up his followers that are waiting in a very dodgy little camp underneath. Uh, he's got to, we've got to stop him from meditating. He's got to get on down and leave his followers to safety is uh, the objective here. Come on, mate. Now's not the time to meditate. It's time to move on. Get your followers. All right, we've got our quick save there. We've got our golden bloom now. Can we speak to him easily? Triangle, I'm hoping. The true son there we go. The true son oh, I'll turn it up a bit. Sometimes they're a bit Show quiet talking. Me the way this Show me the way. The true son 
above me. You must be Savar. True son before me. Show me the way this even tight. <laughs> <laughs> they call that waterboarding, I think. The vessel must be empty. Aloy, travelling to distant oh, lands and waterboarding you people on top of mountains. <laughs> you need medical attention. On the way up, I saw waterboarding is not medical away. attention. Is that how you hurt yourself? My pain. Oh, part of the ritual. You're hurt bad. And your people are running out of time. Staring at the Stormbird isn't solving anything. You don't understand the omen. It fell here at the beacon. I just need to see the twilight path. And my people will find their home. Your people are worried about you. They need shelter, security. The true sign above me. The true sign before me. Show me the way, Miss Eventide. I think you've been staring at your salvation this whole time. The true sign above me. <laughs> Gotta get over to that storm bird. Grab its heart. Grab its heart? Now, can we go up from here, up and over, or is it down and Storm around? Heart is around. Valuable. Enough to feed all the refugees waiting below. And his answer is sunstroke oh. and a prayer? Why does every priest I meet think blind faith is the answer to everything? <laughs> How do we? Because that's what makes them priests? No? Wouldn't that be the obvious answer? All right. I think this is looking like it here, surely. The climbing is a lot better in number two. They've certainly improved the uh, Aloy's maneuverability, the way in which she, oh, interacts and jumps around with the world. Noticeably improved over the first one. Where's our little hooky hook? Am I not seeing it? I feel like there should be one. Oh, there it is right there. Oh, there go, Aloy. There it is. <laughs> Up and over. The Osram that was watching the refugees probably went to get Tolland. I gotta get them out of here before he comes back. Oh, don't fall all the way there. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> now it feels like I'm playing Dark Darkborn? Dark Souls or Bloodborn. Take your pick. Oh, come on, Troy. Get up there. All right. Remember what I said about the traversal being better? I retract that statement. I appear to be quite stuck. There we go. What? Why would she jump out? There's like a little ledge under her, and instead of dropping to the little ledge, she pushes herself off the wall and jumps at the edge of a mountain. Well, that would be one way to go. Why can't she just jump up there and get it? Why is this so difficult? <laughs> right, so they don't want me to hit circle to drop down. How do they want me to drop down? I have no idea how I just did it, but it looks like it went well. All right, now can we get around the corner? <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> how do we do it? I think it was down. I'm just going to flick down. It's just down. Oh, even just flicking down, she still drops. All right. I really don't think I'm that bad at video games. I'm not sure why this is... I'm not sure how I'm making this so incredibly difficult. Isn't it? Ah! <laughs> I'm trying to do the 
jump circle thing. It's like X circle and she's meant to do her big, uh, what do you call it? Fly out the, uh... oh, maybe I'm meant to be doing the pool caster move here. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong here. Now, what is it? It's that. Oh God, this camera work. It's that and then L1, triangle. No? How am I supposed to get up here? All right, just pushing up on the D-pad is not it. I can't left around to it. I can't go up to it. Pushing and holding X and releasing is not doing it. Circle by itself. She's trying to launch herself. I am missing something incredibly obvious here. This is driving me crazy. Fun fact, Aloy's voice is the same that was the voice for Chloe in Life is Strange. That is a fun fact, Jinx 19. I had no idea. That's cool. I was surprised. I had no idea that it was uh, the tiny Tina was the actress from, um... oh gosh, what's it called now? The TV show, I'm blanking on it. Mythic Quest, Mythic Quest, one of the QA testers from Mythic Quest is the actress who voices um, Tiny Tina or sold on whatever, whatever. I didn't know that, that was that person. I do not know <laughs> whatever the final like button press is here for her to heroically jump up and over and launch. Whatever that button combo is, I don't know. <laughs> I can't find it. I don't understand. We can like climb up. It feels like we should be able to, like, jump out and hook and whoop, launch ourselves up. But that circle button doesn't do anything there. What am I missing? I'm missing, like, the most obvious button press ever here. What is it? It's not a double X. Square drops me. Circle launches me. Up we go. Come on now. Up, 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 over. And then what? And then what? Triangle. I can't go to like detective mode. I can't L3 in. I don't want to circle off because circle's the massive launch. Oh my God, this is frustrating. <laughs> Jump up, under there, up and over. And then what? And then what? It's not like I can double jump. I can't launch myself off that handrail. Whatever the incredibly obvious move is to do here, I cannot see it. <laughs> I'm trying to have fun, Jinx. I really am, but I cannot work out what button press I'm missing. Cause it's like, if I went into this mode, and there'd be like a node thing, it'd be like, oh, you can pull your shadow caster, whatever it is there, L2 and that. But as you can hear us say, there's nothing for my pull caster just there. Okay then, where are we supposed to be using your pull caster? That little white thing there isn't a, hey, you can climb on and go over. We know if we walk further that way, oh, there's a white, there's a yellow bit. We found, it. finally. <laughs> Like some kind of lens. <gasps> All right like then, we found it. Here we go. There, the order should be able to afford shelter with this heart. Your food and a change of clothes wouldn't hurt either. Now, can I just run and jump off here? Does something cool happen? No, no, she doesn't. Savahar? Just how you holding up? Passed over. I need to get back over there. Whoa, that is a weird move. Is he dead? Did he not make it? Did I take too long to climb that and he died of old age? <laughs> Maybe. I guess you did the best you could. Rest easy. <laughs> Thank you, Jinx19. Sure you I appreciate the support. I should let Lakasha know. I think give her the Stormbird heart. What? 
Now, as far as this stranger knows, I went up to her leader on the mountaintop, killed him in cold blood, and then returned to her with some sort of peace offering? Like, why should she believe? Now, how do I do that? Oh, no, I've fallen! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna leave a mark. <laughs> I'm sure there's a big fancy pull caster move that I was meant to be able to do there. But instead of it, we just jumped off the edge. He's toned the stugs. Oh, there they are. I see him. I think we've got a fight inbound. So I'll give you one more chance to... Kind of boredom, classic Jinx, classic. I won't let you pass, Asaram. <laughs> and what would have been better if he had died with, conscience. like, a laughter Even look at his face holding his sides and I like, killed him with laughter at my inability okay, to climb that tower. You heard her. <laughs> Get your consciences ready. Hold on now, Talland. You again? Listen, I'm all out of patience here. I clipped that Stormbird's wings. The salvage is mine. I don't care who gets in my way. Nora Savages or Shadow Cars or flea bags. I'm taking it. You mean this heart? Well, from what I hear, the law says that whoever gets the salvage first keeps it. Which in this case is me. Am I right? You took the heart? I shot that Stormbird. Me! Am I right? She's right, Buzz. Blasted love, shut up. <laughs> okay. You win. I'm fine. I don't need that salvage anyhow. But these people need all the help they can get. Come on, boys. Back to chain scrape. I need a drink. Aloy, again. I got a feeling you. Aloy just made an enemy. Now take this heart. Use it to buy food, clothes, shelter for your people. Maybe even land to build a new home. I... This is... Savo Heart must make these decisions. No, I'm... I'm sorry, Lakasha. He's dead. Savahar isn't coming back. He's gone. I know it's hard. Well, he's not gone. He's but just up there, but he's not now. moving a whole lot. Go to Chain Scrape. Talk to the Forge woman there, Petra. Give her the Stormbird heart. She'll look after you and your people until you can get back on your feet. Find your path. I'll do my best, Aloy. What choice do I have? Here. None. Is it about the amount of choices you've got, love? None. I hope it helps in some small way. Is it the heart that I just scavenged? Because that was for you. Chain scrape then. All right. Hey, two skill points. I think now we can buy the big jobby over here. Part breaker. Deal more damage from machine components and weak spots. Now we're talking. Boom. Part breaker. Now, this part breaker, I'm hopeful. Uh, we've got a side quest that was to. Oh, maybe we've got to complete this one first. Hold on. Uh, main quest, the embassy. Oh, there's my mount over there. Face paint unlocked. Hold on, what quest have we got? Active main quest is seven. Sorry, where's the side quest that was... Oh, I think it might have been that one. All right, well, we will follow the main quest and we'll go to the next bit because I think maybe this next bit is where Unky Dunky was saying about the... Uh, the paraglider is, I believe, going to open up shortly on this main quest. Uh, so let's, one, repair our charger, two, mount our charger, and three. Let's uh, follow the main quest on. I believe we're going to the next um, the next major town, I believe, is where we're off to. 
My hope is that the map is about to open up significantly. We're about to get to the sort of next major settlement, get our paraglider, hopefully really open the, the world way up to us. Oh, I wonder what the level cap is. Steve is sort of telling us that the uh, levels and the skill points came uh, pretty well, pretty quick. And we're certainly seeing that. Take all. It's so bizarre that I'm the only person in this land that stops and empties out these collection boxes. Can I do a quick save from my mount? Nope. No, I can't. But that's okay. I can jump off and quick save. All right. Let's keep pushing on. Oh, and I should state the, uh, hold on, cuz, these are some of the, I, I've got a side quest that is for these very guys right here, and it's, <laughs> none of that is what I intended. All right, it's about knocking the, um, it's about knocking, I need three antlers knocked off these guys, uh, is what I'm trying to do. And so I think if I acid shoot the antlers first is what I want to do. And then if I knock over to these ones, I think they come off pretty easy. Oh, if they stand still. Oh, let's heal up a bit, shall we? Now, I'm just trying to knock. I need three antlers. Oh, I'm just trying to get the antlers off. I'm not aiming very well. Come on, antlers. One antler off. There we go. There's an antler. All right. Now, I just need two more of those. One more of those. Look at that. A bigger boom. Yes, that's the one we're trying to do. Perfect. All right. Now, one more. One more of these, and we can complete this quest as well, which is I kind of wanted to complete... Uh, this quest, just before going into that main one, it's one of the last big ones to do before um, uh, the, what should we call it? Uh, before the, like, it's one of the last quests to do in the intro area. I just kind of wanted to finish this off before I moved on and uh, before I moved on and unlocked more and I was worried I wouldn't come back and do it, so Yes, there we go. I think that antler now. Excellent. Now I can... There we go. Now I get the rib from that guy and then I've done everything in this area. And I can... Uh... I'm so glad I've got to do this now. I'm going to be able to go back and do... I'll get the side quest done for the intro area before uh, we move on and unlock that paraglider. Where are we off to? Man, the, uh, oh, what do you call it? The objective markers uh, could use a little bit of work. I know I can fit under there. I've Drink's ridden under there already on this map. I'm not sure why it didn't work that time. Oh, and there was a really cool like vista point thing we had to find there. Certainly a lot of cool stuff happening at the start of this game. Oh, and is that one of those green... There's like green glowy points around the world. It's uh, resources you pick up. But it reminds me of... I want to say it's like Narvrud or something in um, the Elder Scrolls, like in Skyrim. There was that... It had like a glow to it and it had like this... Um, oh, like this sort of high-pitched frequency that would play in the world as you went. Now, where am I supposed to be gathering this rib from? Have I passed it or are we not there? 56. Yeah, I rode through it. All right, so just back this way a little bit. Should be the guys we're looking for. Uh, and I need their rib. Is it... Weak to acid. Weak to acid? Well, then why don't we give it a shot of acid? I'm trying to hit the... I think if you hit the components... Uh, with the acid, it'll eventually break through. I think it's like once it breaks through, you can go. There 
There we go. Yeah, corroding kill. Oh, someone's shooting something at me. I'm under attack. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I was about to land this big blow there. Oh, no. How many guys do we have on us? This is not going to end well. Oh, that's my mount. No, no, stop attacking my mount. I don't want to attack my mount. Now, is that... Where's the rib? I'm waiting for the McRib. Or is it a McRib off one of these guys, maybe? Oh, dead. Duh and duh. I had to beat Adam Smasher in Cyberpunk last night. Died five times. That Adam Smasher fight is tough. Giggs, yes. I'm a big fan of it, though. Man, how's it is Cyberpunk? What are you playing it on? PS5? Xbox? Where are you? With it. Uh, now, which way is this marker? This way. Oh. Man, I do not like the way these objective markers work. They need that sort of big overall one. Uh, no, I don't want to change it. I do want to call it, though. Oh, Mount cannot enter this location. Troy, read the prompts as they come up. Here we go. All right, call that Mount. Oh, were we right there? Well, we were nice and close, weren't we? All right, now it's not those guys. I feel like that ball was sneaking up on me. Oh, yeah, okay, so this is the guy we want. Oh, just above. And then switch to fire. Can we do two lots of damage at once? Oh, yeah. Now, being that he throws fire, would we assume that if he can create fire, that he's not very susceptible to fire? Man, I'm just trying to rupture one of those canisters on his back with the acid. Oh, he's down. Quick. Go, go, go. Pretty cool. Boom. Oh. What? I thought the critical strikes always killed them. I thought if you lay a critical strike on the ground that they'd be dead. I didn't know it was going to pop back up. That's crazy. PS5, how good does it look on the PS5? Just the from that thing Ran into a few bugs. What bugs are you seeing? I would love to know what bugs you're seeing, Jigs. It's, uh, I haven't, I'm trying to think. I don't think I've come across any bugs, have I? In the new version, obviously, I've seen plenty of bugs in Cyberpunk over the year and a half, but, uh... All right, let's make sure we've got fully crafted everything. And I think we decided it was the fire was no good and it's just the acid ones we want. So let's try it again, just acid drops. Oh! Oh, come on now, Aloy. I'm trying to duck. I'm trying to parry. I don't have any health. Oh, that was lucky. Oh, no ammo. That'll do it. Knock down. Critical strike. 
Don't fall for the critical strike, though. It's not definitely dead just because you critically struck it. Should be able to harvest its rib now. All right, come on. Harvest that McRib. McRib's back on the menu. A bigger boom. All right. Let's get out of here and uh, get the weapon upgrade. Did she say cover it in acid? Oh, and the other thing I don't know yet, I've unlocked the thing down the bottom right. It's sitting under me here. Uh, the purple bar, it's some sort of special move, but, oh, uh, oh, I don't want to fast travel anywhere. I want to run in this gate. Um, oh, that's the other question. Is there at some point, I was sure I got to make my own short travel, shortcut traveling kit things in number one. But I've got to purchase them in number two. I assume at some point uh, we get to create our own fast travel things, or do you eventually just buy like a purple one that has, you know, legendary, that has unlimited uses or something? I need to get my hands on whatever it is that enables fast travel to be permanent and relatively free. Not free, there'll be the initial outlay. But. You've got all the parts, haven't you? Uh, Jinx19 in the chat. Oh, I saw a bug, sorry, we're talking about Cyberpunk 2077 here. I saw a bug where after I killed someone next to a wall, their body would get stuck in the wall. Oh, no, I totally understand that, man. I've seen definitely uh, ragdoll physics and bodies so getting caught on the geometry, man. I know exactly what you're saying. Yes, I have seen it as well. You really like explosions, huh? I ran into a great one on... Um, with Halo Infinite, sense? where I got oh, the a dude's head um, stuck in the roof and then I was able to shoot his body Probably. and he sort of spun like a ceiling fan. One? That was a lot no. of fun. That's, uh, go back into Game Enforcement Agency, round F13, I reckon. You'll be able to find that one. Ba boom Looks uh, hilarious. All right. So now... So now I have a spike thrower launcher thing. All right, now go to the embassy. Now I believe we did every uh, we did every side mission, whatnot, in that first one. Now, oh, I need five. I need five more, five skill points to unlock that main one. I get it now, which means in the hunter one, in the hunter one is three. I couldn't work out those skill trees earlier. It was never making sense to me about that unlock and then how they feed in. But I get it now. I get it now. All right, where's my little mounty mount? Uh, all right. Now, now we get to push on to the next civilization, open up the next big block. Uh, Quasim Rescue, that's the best I've got for a shout out. Of course, you can have a shout out, my friend. Uh, I know I butchered your name just then, and I apologize. If you want to put in the phonetical spelling, I would love to nail it exactly how you're used to hearing it. Uh, I don't have the skill set to get there, but if you want to help me out with the phonetical spelling, I would love to shout you out more appropriately. More appropriately on air. <laughs> My pleasure. I love a good shout out. Who doesn't love a good shout out? All right, so we're heading to the next main area with the hope, with the ambition that we're about to unlock the paraglider and really sort of crack this nut wide open and, and really get our exploration uh, exploration right. options all on the table. Now, I know I've got one skill point I've got to spend there, but I'm actually saving up. I want to go for that five. All right, I should find whoever's in charge here. First, all right, who's in charge here? Uh, Savior. <laughs> Check out old mate Pat there with the glasses. <laughs> That's a good look. Maybe. Why do you ask? Uh, yes, yeah, well, in Cyberpunk, I have seen random spawning enemies as well. Uh, if you go down to the um, uh, what do you would call it? The with the Ferris wheel. That's the um. You're not afraid. It's near Adam Smasher. It's the big, uh, uh, not Adam Smasher, excuse me, um, uh, Sasquatch. It's near Sasquatch, that, what's it called, like, it's not City Hall. It's the, the shopping mall, the, the abandoned shopping mall area. 
City I something. It's in Night City, obviously, but it's a, the Ferris wheel shut down. Anyway, out the back there all, is a great spot to see people randomly spawning. I've seen a lot of glitches around the back there. <laughs> Good to know. And uh, keep us in mind. If you do manage I love to that dude's headgear. That guy actually looks a lot life. like... Uh, we'll it's only occurring to me now how very Monster Hunter world some of these outfits parts, are. We've got the best in the West, guaranteed. All right. Maybe later then. Uh, if you can get those blasted gates open. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'm not the only one who wants to get those gates open. Man, there's so much stuff in this world. That looks like he's had a few. Xavier, I need your help. Can I get up to that guy in the prison? Oh, look, there's a ramp right there. Come on now. Up the ramp, Aloy. You can do it. There it is. Savior, you're my last hope. Conover, she's Meridian's savior, not yours. It's just <laughs> What do you want? Please, no one will listen. But the Eclipse, they're here in the dawns. <laughs> really, Conover? Aloy's the one that defeated them. You're bothering her with this hogwash now? Some of them must have fled west after the battle at the Alight. I saw one of our sentries, Lorovic, sneaking off to meet with one. I tried to eavesdrop, but they spotted Lorovic? me. And then Lorovic tried to kill me. I. Is Lorovic from the first one? Why does that name ring a bell? It was him or me. Unfortunately, there's no hard evidence. Lorovic. I know the name from somewhere. Eclipse. And since Conover doesn't deny killing his fellow soldier, Nozar sentenced him to death. What makes you so sure Lorovic was working with the Eclipse? Well, I was too far to hear everything. But I heard them both say the word Eclipse. It's not the most outlandish claim I've heard, but it's up there. Crying Eclipse <laughs> is a convenient way to dodge a death sentence. If I have to die, so be it. But if we ignore this threat, others are going to die too. The meeting you witnessed, did you hear anything else about their plans? No, but the clearing where they met is just east of here, across the river. A dozen soldiers have already searched at Conover. There's nothing there. I can see things others can't. If the Eclipse are in the Daunt, I'll find them. Thank you, Aloy. Sun bless your search. Don't get your hopes up, soldier. <laughs> Shadow from the past, maybe we are meant to recall the name from the first game. Thick wall of stone between you are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studious Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy <laughs> remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their horn. <sighs> All right. It's a horn bone, is it? Let me through the gates. Out of the way. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do. But I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no Is one that the voice the of, um... Now we're open. What's his name? Um... Them left. Destiny, he's, he does a voice of Destiny. Oh, God, I'm totally blanking on that Where dude's name, though. The guy from, um... He's the one keeping the gates uh, shut. Uh, so John Wick, but... He did the wire, I'll the wire, up, John Wick, I have to warn Destiny you. Two, the commander that one guy whose name I'm blanking on, especially when he's already high strung. We'll see about that. I think that's him, though. It sounds like him. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, and we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and chain scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. <laughs> I, I love it how the pictures always of a watch, but they always call it an ancient 
an ancient bracelet. That one's black, but there's, you know, various colours, but they're like, ancient bracelet, and they're watches. They refer to watches as ancient bracelet. I don't know why that tickles me so much, but it certainly does. Soldier? Sir? Man, look at their shoes. They are some fancy shoes. Look at those little kicker toe bits on the end. Certainly wouldn't be on the receiving end of a booting from to those hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people. What more can you expect from barbarians? Plenty more. That's how much I can expect. Plenty. Oh. Hey, thanks for joining on Discord. That's right, Hickland does have a Discord server. Well, Everyone's welcome. Valley for you? Come on by. Say hi. We appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Yes, Jinx. You Thank you very much. Signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be... Shut up. Why the delay? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I'm glad she said it. composed of three clans how many banners do you see you're just gonna None? wait go find out what's wrong <sighs> oh this isn't some forgotten corner of the east where you come from nora it's the forbidden west <laughs> if you don't like it run back to meridian file a complaint the meridian i saved you mean that's right. <laughs> Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. <laughs> Not even the savior of Meridian. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... <laughs> you shall not! Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Jinx, uh, I do jump in the server from time to time. Uh, it was very, it was very lively back when I was uh, streaming, live streaming three days a week, and then there was a couple of months there where I took it all Open off. Case, please. Um, but yes, oh, glitch in the background. I don't know if you guys saw that guy walking now, but uh, yes, as we're now streaming Monday nights GA and. What is it, Wednesday and Friday mornings at 10 a.m.? Yes, the Discord server, you can certainly expect, will have a lot more happening in there now that we're back three days a week. I'm asking nicely. Uh, certainly. Thank you for joining us in there, mate. I appreciate it. Hey, Bar. Hi, Aaron. Uh, what's up? I know the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in a way. It's not going to work. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, Nozar, you stupid bastard. You think you got the authority <laughs> to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is going to do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let <laughs> it through, boys. Saving the world. <laughs> it's as simple as that. <laughs> Hey, Stacey. Hey, Steve. Hey, man. Just in 26 hours in Horizon. And he's got Elden Ring installed. Great work, Steve. Oh, Elden Ring. I can't wait, buddy. I am pumped. I am pumped. And I'm so good on medium blackout. I know there's spoilers left, right, and center for Elden Ring out there now, guys. If you want to go in clean. Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just going to barge in? It's no more politics. No more delays. Oh, well. Now at least you have some backup. I guess I do. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. That is the line between East and West. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? 
What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parlay or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let yes! Me one last favor for a fellow marshal before he's <laughs> Stay four hours to choose a class of character creation. I haven't even looked into it, Steve. Have you, uh, are they the standard classes, man, in Elden Ring? I've got no idea. I hadn't even Fearless considered how long it was going to take to pick the opening class you like character so creation. Savior of Meridian. Just uh, no, there's no age restriction at all on our Discord. Everyone's welcome on there. There is a not safe for work channel. If you got to put something questionable on there, there is a channel for it. But no, everyone's welcome on there, man. We're a friendly bunch. Everyone's welcome. Come on in. We just want to talk about games. If that sounds like you, join us by all means. Well, now I'm even more curious about you knowing that you have the confidence of the Sun King. But such an association with the Kaja could work against you here. As it often has with me. As you can see. Tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom. A gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive. Unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help. But I need to know why. For the right price. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. <laughs> What's he planning? He's gonna send us somewhere. You asked why I need rite of passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the sure world I will. almost ended Try me. in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west. And I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs. And I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian. An army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. <laughs> I'll grant you this. To serve as proof I like this right guy. To travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important, and it's just the two of you. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you, and he'll listen to Look! Me. The Sky Clan's banner. Oh, finally they show up. That's a banner? The Marshals. banners have to have cloth on them myself. It wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Uh... No, I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? Now that's a horn. Jesus. The size of that thing. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on Is that way? guy's one job in the no, clan to just walk yeah, around holding that horn? You. <laughs> you wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. We got it to happen. The 
Roger. Something very Gates. Star Wars and Palpatine about that bloke. Hello, Lucy19999 on Discord. Very cool. Welcome. Now, is this the paraglider, Steve? Is this the, uh, are they about to bestow upon me the freedom of flight? Hopefully. As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over okay, a land look, at peace. Okay, shut up again. <laughs> Today is such... Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh! Regala. Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. You'll need more than toothless oh. threats to intimidate us. Exile. <laughs> Did you say toothless? <gasps> Getting close, but I'm going to earn the ability. Very good. Oh my. They're riding machines. Where'd they learn to do that? Silence. <laughs> Same place Shut I up. did. Come with us now, or not at all. Archers, light them up. Two, two, two. Get to cover! Ah! <laughs> gets the cover of the one that just stands there and gets arrowed. <laughs> what part of get the cover did they miss? Archers! <laughs> keep them back! Alright, here we go. Battle stations, everyone. Battle stations. Not one of them have a shield or a weapon. They're all just run around in their fancy clothes. Oh, uh, Jewel Sense. I keep wanting to call it Jewel Sense 5. The Jewel Sense giving us a nice stampede feel right now. Are they trying to take prisoners or are they trying to kill them all? Open the gates! Open the gates! Open the gates! Yeah. Oh, thank God someone put an arrow in him. Yes! Drop a couple more in him. We don't need to hear him prattling on. Fire at will! Which one's will? They're not wearing name tags! <laughs> Found his shot. <laughs> hey, it's not gonna be much left to the embassy here. It's like me playing Demon Souls. <laughs> <laughs> you what died. Uh... You see? It's just us now. Hey! Come down and fight fair! Lancers! <laughs> take the center! Get ready! I've never understood the notion of giving up the high ground because you got pulled out. Archers on the ridge. 
Now my question is, Time to fight. And can they fire right up to their base? It's my instant question. If I'm standing below the archers here, can they get their quivers off? Or can I even jump up and take the fight to them? Oh. Surely there's somewhere we can climb up and get up there to that boss. Surely. They're not giving me anything, are they? I just want to climb up and meet them face to face. Really? Not one edge here. Well, that's kind of lame. I wanted to get up there and say howdy. I'm just trying to like catch one edge and launch off. Somewhat like this. Come on, let's get up there. Let's get up there. Come on, we can definitely get up there. I can sense it. Oh, maybe not. There might be an invisible wall there. Oh man, I think I just gave up a heap of games. How can we not get up there and slap them around? That's what I don't understand. Oh, come on, there's an edge there. Surely, Aloy, surely you can grab that edge. No. Ah. I would just love to go up and fight the, fight this, what did they call her? Uh, outcast? Was she an outcast? I think they, the term they used for her was outcast. My question is, can I just get up there and get a shot on the outcast? I understand I'm meant to be fighting her minions down in the valley, but I want to know if I can get up there and fight the boss nice and early. Oh, come on. Grab an edge! Grab an edge! Oh, there's definitely a way up. You can sense it! There's a way up! Alright, let's assume there isn't. Fine! We'll go and fight them the way they want to be fought. You know, it'd be funny though. Maybe if we just go around this way a bit further? Is this an edge we can get up? This is looking promising. <gasps> Come on, Before look at this. Oh. I have to get back and help him. Yeah, no, Someone, I know. Well, I'm I trying to help them. I'm trying to cut the head off the snake, Before you see. Still on the battlefield. I have to get back and help I know. I, I know. I'm... Here we go, look. Now, can we from here get a shot off. Oh, boo to that. After all that, we can't get a shot off. Well, that's lame. I call that very disappointing. Finally get up there, but no. They are in... 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 in what word am I looking for? In... in... Invulnerable, invulnerable. No quick saving. Oh, we got him. Ah. I see the outlander. You gotta see uh, a, a volley of arrows from the Outlander if you keep watching long enough, mate. How about some acid shots? Boom, one acid shot for you. Is there someone else over here? Oh, yeah. You and me now, bro. We got this. Oh, come on, we got the acid. Oh, come on, there's the knockdown, let's get him. Oh, how did we not finish him with the critical strike? Alright, where is it? 
How <laughs> beautiful! You know that got him on the high side. <laughs> oh, they've got their little health spots. I'm impressed with the uh, distance she can cover when you go into the strike. Here we go. Now, is this the invulnerable setup on the ridge that we got a couple of fires off at? <laughs> oh, good call, Steve. Good call. <laughs> that was pretty brutal. Gotta love that. Gotta do that health. I'm on target. Oh, that's the wrong tool, you goose. Oh wait, they are acid breathers. These guys are gonna want fire, aren't they? I'm trying to drop fire in the big green fuel tanks on them. There, that should have got one. Oh, come on. Flames. No, no, go to the flames. Craft away. There we go. Oh, there's another one right there. Oh, I think that one actually detonated. Yes, there it is. Oh, <laughs> watch out for the other bloke. Is there a bloke just sitting there? We might get the other side. Oh, that had to be close. Oh, no ammo. Come on now, we can do this. There's one, come on. These are direct hits. Come on, people. Level 9. I'll take a ding when I can get it. Uh, what have I got? Two health points to spend, but we need five. Get out of there. Whoa. More flame arrows, please. They seem to be working. Where is the little canister? <laughs> I love the way it nose shines into the ground. Now, is that all of them? That should be the lot, I think. Enough! You, Outlanders, I'll skin you both! Chief, Grand Come on down honor. here and try it, mate! Come on down here and try it, buddy. Granted. Yeah. Is it a jewel he wants? Hey, there's the glider!
I like it, Steve. I like it. It's glider time. Glider and shield. Are we going to see one of these coming off the battle bus, battle bus in Fortnite never soon, do we reckon? Like Better scan it. I can break through a shield if I damage it. Did that say weak against acid? Show me a real challenge. Well, I'm working on it. It said it was bad to acid. Pain subsided. Oh, man. That was a, uh, what do you call that, a cluster grenade? Oh, we'll swing! Swing! Come on. Give it up! Give it up, buddy. Hey, they're gonna let me get there with, uh... That looks like three series of that would do it. Oh, come on now. Oh no, I'm out of acid the hunter pack things. Alright. We need to get some acid stuff. Where's the acid stuff we need to collect? Acid? Acid? Come on. Where's some more acid stuff? Search charger, come on. Is there an acid thing? Oh, here we go. Is this guy got it? Was that components? I think that may have been... Yes! All right. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, no! Come on, here we go. Come on, get him under the halfway mark. I'm not sure we're going to be able to get him for more than one. Oh, we get there. Come on. Come on, drop him. Keep going. Oh no. That's not what I wanted. Acid one. Acid two. Oh, get out of there. Heal up, Troy. Heal up. Oh, where are the health things? Let's finish him. Here we go. Come on. Yes. That's got to be it now, surely. Can I now make the shield? I've got all the components. Level 10, maybe? Level 10, some shield action? Your turn. Could be, maybe? Come down here and face me. No. It was an honorable <laughs> challenge. You've earned your life today. Comrades. Mark this day. The Mark day it well. you have decimated the marshals, slaughtered the Karja. So begins our war on Hikaru. Ah! Move out. Come on, let's see that glider. I want the glider action. Get him to the camp. Now. You gonna make it? Oh, Aloy just clipping on in through the uh, broken strider or whatever it is. You're going on. Pay no attention to that one. Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. For now. Come on. I'll take you back to the fort. <laughs> Everyone's pretty dinged up here at the uh, start of the game. Here we have a long road ahead. <laughs> yeah. 
It's salvage time, boys. I'm here to salvage my uh, glider, please, fellas. I don't think it can take a hit. I should be able to use it to glide. Yes. It's gliding time. Eloy. We're still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. Oh, I mean, there will be a civil war. Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Peshav, a massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Fight! We will fight Hopefully to the this end! This rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. Oh this yes, is that is a big, the big map. West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though... Obviously, this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached <laughs> from the north, with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border. But why... It's, uh... It's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? No, we're good. I need to be on my way. Then I, wish I want to deploy this glider. Let me see the first glide. To Thank you. Will you give me a free fast travel pack? And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. Adios, muchachos. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. Let's run and jump, shall we? I just want to bust out this glider. Hey, trophy done. Two skill points brings us up to six, which means we should be able to unlock now this one right here. Heartbreaker. Oh, double trophy. I'll take it. Oh. And level 10. Triple trophy, any chance? Dang, I thought for sure level 10 was going to be uh, trophy level. Not the case. Alright, shield wielding enemy. Oh, I cleared it when I was trying to clear one, I cleared the other. This is the Forbidden West. A whole new frontier to explore. The coordinates from the spire should lead to silence in Hades. And just maybe... Backup of Gaia. It won't be easy out there. All right. The now. The storms, Regala's machine rides. Surely we can jump and glide from right here. What oh, is the gliding the button, do we think? Square! Perfect. Push and hold square. All right. Now that we know it's push and hold square, can we climb back up or is the... Uh... No? Can't climb back up and have another crack, all right? We'll just go for the next launch point. Surely there's going to be a big open basin and it's just going to let me go ludicrously deep. I want a ludicrously long glide. I want to glide so long it, you know, meh, 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 runs out of juice and I drop to the ground. That's what I'm talking about, a ludicrously long glide. 
Light's taking over the land out here, too. We're so gonna stop gliding. Man, I guess everyone's health stocks were low after that fight. Looks like something's going on. Our armor's got to make all other armors look like rusted buckets of scrap. You really well, that's been very cool. Let's bring up that map. How big is it? I would argue we've just finished the intro area. We've just opened it up. There's a long neck, but look at the size of this map. We have probably 80% of the game to go, I reckon. Maybe a little more, 83%, something like this. Uh, it's a fantastic start. Thank you very much for joining me. A reminder, I'll be back Friday morning for a live Let's Play at 10 a.m., but it's going to be Elden Ring. Elden Ring on Friday. I'm so very excited. Uh, thank you very much for joining me for this live Let's Play. As I said, I'll be back no, Friday morning for a live Let's Play of Elden Ring, and then every Monday, uh, Monday night, 8 p.m.-ish, right here on the couch, Steve and I do Gaming Enforcement Agency, the week gaming podcast wrap-up we do right here on Geek Loud. What else can you do with Geek Loud? Like it, subscribe it, you'll never miss it. Old Uncle Donkey. <laughs> 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 <laughs>